Welcome back to Pink Lemonade Artistry. If you're joining me today, you might be wondering, how do I get started with acrylic supplies? Well, today I have a guide that will walk you through all the supplies that you'll need in order to begin your acrylic journey. Okay, so let's start off with where do we put our paint? So there's something called palette paper and it comes in a block of about 40 sheets. And basically what it is, it's a wax type paper. So you can use this for acrylics and for oil paints as well. I have used many pages of my palette paper and I could tear them away if I wanted to, but I choose to just keep the pages and save them. You never know when they come in handy. You'll also notice that the pages simply are glued together and you can peel them up and continue to use the next page that comes after. Next, let's talk about gesso. So what is gesso? Gesso is basically a way to prime any canvas that you might be using. So you have artist uh, quality gesso and also arts and crafts gesso. Um, if you are new to acrylics, you can start out with using something from uh, Americana, Deco Art. Um, you don't have to start out with the professional uh, Liquitex Basics Acrylic Gesso. Uh, all it does is that it prepares the surface that you're painting on for layering and adding more color to it. Next, we have canvases. Now, canvases uh, nowadays come, for the most part, already primed. Here I have a collection of canvases from Michaels from their Artist Loft line, and they do already come primed, and they are acid-free and archival quality. I like purchasing the flat panel canvases as opposed to the more boxy type of canvases simply because they are a little bit easier to store and also to display and you can put them in picture frames or you can hang them on their own. If you happen to buy a canvas that's not primed that's where your gesso is going to come in handy. Or if you happen to make a mistake and you want to start over with your canvas, you can put the, the gesso on top of it and begin a new, um, a new piece of artwork to reuse the canvas. All right, so let's talk about paint. So here I have one of my favorite sets that has 48 different tubes and it is from Liquitex Basics. What I like about this is that you get a very good selection of colors to choose from. So you don't have to purchase the colors individually one by one. Now here I wanna show you just a little comparison between a uh, 22 milliliter tube, 60 milliliter tube. So you can see that you can get a pretty good sample size uh, to play around with uh, when you purchase the Liquitex Basics. And it's a it's pretty affordable set. I'm not sponsored by them, but I just really like uh, to buy in bulk. If you end up buying one by one, it can get really expensive. So this is a really good way to figure out which colors you prefer, what is your color palette that you enjoy working with, because everybody has different preferences when it comes to uh, working with a d various types of colors. Once you're ready, you can purchase either the bigger sizes of the Liquitex uh, tubes, or you could also purchase tubes from Windsor & Newton Galleria Collection. Both of these, I think, are pretty comparable in terms of uh, color, how vibrant they are, and how long they, they last. So when you're working with acrylics, they do tend to dry out faster. And depending on the brand, you c either you might have to use, for example, like an extender, uh, which is a medium that you would add to extend how long you have to work with the paint. But I find that the Galleria and the Liquitex, you don't need to add, um, you don't need to add any extenders to them if you're working on smaller pieces. So if you're just practicing, I think these are gonna work out really well for you. You're also gonna notice that a little bit of the paint will go a long way with either the Windsor & Newton Galleria or with the Liquitex Basics. 
One thing that I do want to mention is that the Liquitex comes with a small tube of white. However, uh, you probably will run out pretty fast, so you want to purchase a larger tube of white. Whatever the brand that you prefer, um, make sure that it's just a large tube because those tend to run out faster because you are mixing with white um, constantly. Okay, so next let's talk about brushes. So here I have, again, from Michaels, it's the Artist Loft line. And this is a set of 10 different brushes. So the reason why I like these is because I'm buying multiple brushes and I'm not having to purchase them individually, especially because I'm, you know, you're just starting out so you don't know which ones you prefer. One of the things that I like about this particular set is that they come in a clear handle. And the reason why I like that is because if you happen to forget your brush in your water cup, it's not going to split. If you buy a wood handle type of, of brush, then you have a higher chance that if you forget it for maybe a day or so, that the wood eventually is going to start to, to split. And then it, it kind of makes uh, using the brush difficult because sometimes the, the actual bristles will come off, the glue will undo itself, and it just, they fall apart. Okay, so here is the end of my guide. I hope that you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. And if you enjoyed this guide, consider subscribing and leave me a comment down below.